let's now look at other plant sources that might be able to provide us or furnish us with some form of vessel that can contain and boil water in. Now the one I want to point you to is bamboo. This is giant bamboo. It grows in a semi-naturalised state here in southeast Queensland with this subtropical rainforest environment we are in. So it's not going to be a global plant, but it'd be crazy not to mention it, just in case where you're watching, this stuff grows. Because it grows in quite a diverse range of conditions around planet Earth. Now if I can get something this size and cut it down, and we're going to do this with stone tools, remember? So it's going to take a long period of time. So this is something I can cut down green, fill with water, and boil directly on the fire. So let's have a look at the process of cutting this down, of harvesting this type of very, very tough plant material, but to make it into a shape that we can utilize it to boil water. Now I'm looking for a section here. I'm going to take a bit below and probably the, the upper portion. Now while this is standing up, it anchors itself to the ground, and I'm just going to make sure I've got a clear space around it. I'm not going to choose a piece down low, because then I'm going to be on my knees doing all this. This is a much more workable space at this level. The stone tools I brought along with me to do the job are basalt hand axe that we made up early in the course and another piece of silcrete chopper that we've made up for, the, for this particular purpose. So this is a little bit harder and this will do a little bit more of the heavy lifting work for us. And I bought some smaller pieces that came off this chopper when I was making it up act as sort of small saws to break up the fibres that characterise bamboo type material. If you've noticed, we've been using this at two different angles. We use our chopper to chop in and against the grain, turn it around, and do the heavy work chopping down into the grain. And now I've used this small saw just to break this off. So actually in just a few minutes, we've gotten most of the way through this first section. And I'm just going to continue to work my way, beaver fashion, around the entire circumference of the plant. I don't know if you can see it there, but we're actually now all the way through into this, the core of the plant. It has taken a fair bit of effort. Now that's something we've got to keep in mind. <clears throat> Certainly when it comes to what time of day would I choose to do this type of work. In the jungles and the tropical and subtropical areas where this type of plant is endemic, it's going to be humid well into the early evening. So I'd probably want to be doing this early morning, late afternoon. So I'm going to continue to break this bit off. It's actually water in the bottom of this, which I'm going to drink, because bamboo also contains water a lot of the time. Well, that's a small mouthful, 
from what I've expended in terms of perspiration to make this precious boiling vessel. So all done with rock tools that we've made. It's taken me a little over half an hour. I thought it was going to take me a lot longer than that because I looked at the size of this material and I thought that's almost half an inch thick on the walls. And I thought it'd take a lot longer to get through those thick fibers you can see there. Keeping in mind we're just abrading downwards and upwards, chopping a wedge shape into the, the fibers that make up the actual plant material itself. The bottom, same deal, just had to bash that free and now I've left a partition here. So in the top section of that I've got my boiling vessel which I'll apply directly to the fire that way and boil. I'd make up as many of those as I had the energy and the need to do so. So let's go away, boil some water, have a cup of tea and rehydrate ourselves with available surface wild water.